My dear, do you still love me? I've been thinking a lot about everything, and the truth is, I haven't been the partner you deserve. I've failed to give you the love, attention, and care that you've always needed. I've made you wait for me, left you wondering, ghosted you when you needed me most, and taken you for granted countless times. And every time I did, I never stopped to think about how my actions affected you or hurt your feelings. How could someone as amazing as you still love someone like me, someone who was selfish and thoughtless? I was so wrapped up in myself that I couldn't even see the beautiful person right in front of me. You have such a kind heart, and I've let you down in so many ways. I see that now, but even though I've realized my mistakes and apologized, I know that isn't enough. You deserve so much more than just an apology. You deserve to be loved madly and deeply. You should be placed on a pedestal, cherished, and pampered. I should have always treated you like the incredible person you are. Instead, I hurt you, and I know it's not fair to you. Sometimes I wonder why you even stayed. You're so patient, so understanding, even though I've given you every reason to walk away. Sometimes, I feel like one day you'll wake up and realize you're tired of me and my constant mistakes, my childish behavior, and my inability to be the partner you need. It scares me to think that you might leave because I've taken so long to realize what a fool I've been. I'm really trying to be better for you. I've been working hard to improve, to change my bad habits, but I know I still mess up. It's true what they say, old habits die hard. But I'm determined to show you that I've learned from my mistakes. I want you to see how much you mean to me, how deeply I care for you, even if I haven't always shown it. How can you still love someone who has hurt your heart so many times? How can you care for someone who caused you pain, sleepless nights, and so much heartache? You are so good, so kind, and it's not fair to you. I feel so sad when I think about everything you've been through because of me. When I put myself in your shoes, it breaks my heart to imagine the pain you must have felt. You didn't deserve any of it. I'm really, truly sorry. I wish I could take back all the times I hurt you. I wish I could go back and make different choices, treat you the way you deserve to be treated from the beginning. I regret the way I acted, and I'll never stop regretting it. But what I can do now is work hard to make it right, to make sure I never hurt you like that again. I feel so blessed that you've given me another chance. You didn't have to, and I'm grateful every day that you did. I don't want to waste this opportunity. I want to make you smile, not just out of relief that things are better, but out of real joy and happiness. I want you to feel loved, cherished, and respected in the way you deserve. I need to prove to you that I don't take you for granted anymore, that I've learned how special our love is, and how important it is to cherish it. I realize now that a love like ours is rare, and I never want to take it lightly again. From now on, I want to spend every single day making sure that you're happy, not just on the surface, but from the deepest part of your heart. I want to win your trust back. I want to win your love back. You are incredibly precious to me, and I'm willing to put in the effort to become the partner you deserve. I know it won't be easy, but I'm committed to working hard, to showing you every day how much you mean to me. I don't want to lose you, and I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make sure I never do. I want to make you mine in every possible way, to keep you with me forever. I pray every day that God guides me, that he helps me to avoid making the same mistakes again. I want to grow with you, to become a better person for you, and to show you that I've learned from my past. You deserve a partner who makes you feel loved, cherished, and valued, and I want to be that partner for you. I will never take you for granted again. You are my everything, and I'll spend the rest of my life proving that to you. My love, today my heart feels so light and happy, as though a huge burden has been lifted off my shoulders. 
I can finally breathe with ease, and the weight of all the anxiety and worry that had consumed me for so long has disappeared. For the first time in what feels like ages, I had the most restful sleep. I woke up feeling so relaxed and relieved. Everything I had been carrying on my mind and heart seems to have melted away, and I feel as though the world is a little brighter today. My parents have finally agreed to our marriage, and I can't express how much that means to me. After all the struggles, all the tears, and sleepless nights, they have come to understand that I love you and only you, and that no one else could ever take your place. For so long, they didn't understand, and their refusal tore me apart. I tried so hard to make them see the depth of my feelings, to make them realize how much I care for you and how much I desire to spend my life with you. But they were adamant. They couldn't see what I saw, and every day that passed after they refused, I felt a little more lost. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I became so quiet, so withdrawn, and it was as if the joy had been sucked out of my life. I didn't feel like talking to anyone else, I didn't even know how to explain what I was going through. Every time I was alone in my room, I would cry, not knowing how to make things right. I had become a shell of myself, someone who had forgotten how to laugh or smile. The person I used to be disappeared in the sadness and rejection I felt from my own family. I tried again and again to make them understand. I used every bit of energy I had to show them that this love is real, that you are the one for me. But when they remained stubborn, I felt as though I was up against a wall. I couldn't keep fighting, so I became silent. But inside, the pain never left. Still, I didn't give up hope. And now, after all this time, they finally understood my emotions. I'm so relieved, I can hardly describe the feeling. Yesterday, when they told me they had agreed to our marriage, I thanked God so much. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It felt like a dream, like something I had been wishing for so long had finally come true. I cried so much last night, tears of relief, of longing, and of gratitude. They all flowed from my eyes, and I couldn't stop them. I wanted to call you immediately or send you a message to tell you the news, but it was so late, and I wanted to surprise you. I've been thinking about you constantly. I don't know what's going on with you at the moment since we haven't been in touch for some time now, but I hope you'll be as happy as I am when you hear this news. I hope that despite everything, you haven't given up on us. I know you were angry and hurt when my family first refused, and I can't blame you for feeling that way. I know how much that must have hurt you. And if, by some chance, you've moved on with your life, I can't say I wouldn't understand. But in my heart, I secretly hope that you haven't moved on, that you haven't found someone else. If you're angry with me, I understand that too. But I'll do whatever it takes to melt away your anger. I just want everything to go well from here, so that we can finally live our lives together as we've always dreamed. I've been thinking a lot about our future, and I can't wait for the day when you'll finally be mine, when we'll stand together on our wedding day. I want to prove to everyone how right my choice is, to show the world how happy we are together. All the people who doubted our love and questioned our connection will be speechless when they see the beautiful life we create together. I know that we can build something incredible, something lasting. Let's be together through everything, through sickness and health, through the good and the bad. I promise that no matter what life brings our way, I will always be by your side. I am yours, and only yours, for the rest of my life. I love you with all my heart.